Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on the new phaser effect released by Bliss. Very interesting effect, very quality effect as all the other effects and apps from Bliss. Before I start, um, I have a number of codes to give away, courtesy of Bliss, so just check the video description on how to participate to the giveaway. So we are inside the AUM. So let's search first of all for the effect phaser, like so. And let's also use a file, a file player for uh, um, the input source. So let's input something that Ian has created for us, a nice guitar loop. Let's make that into a recurrent loop. So here it is. Really, really nice interface as normally they all are from Bliss. So let's set the uh, preset to default. And um, if you know how phaser works, it processes signal, the incoming signal through a number of all pass filters. And um, then it takes that signal as um, and it mixed it up to the original signal to create phase cancellation. And you can control the number of all pass filters here, which are through the notches, and they appear here on the screen. You can also change uh, up to 24, by the way, as you can see, so quite nice. You can change the base frequency of that um, all pass filter, just click and hold and move on the display, or you can also do that changing the frequency here. Okay, and um, here is where you control the feedback. So how much feedback you have um, and into the original signal. And when that is active, it allows you to change the color or the frequency of a low pass filter, which is really nice. If you have more than one notch, like so, you can decide how far apart they are using the spread, like so. It would be nice if you could move the frequency um, up and down automatically, and that is where the frequency LFO comes in. This is where you can synchronize it to the host or heavy free. You can change the shape, you have the rate, and you can also split the stereo up to 180 degrees or minus 180 degrees. And here is where you adjust the amount. As you can see, there you go. And when you increase the amount, it starts to move. And you can adjust, as I mentioned, the stereo, like so you don't have stereo, or you can have it minus 180 uh, between uh, uh, degrees between left and right channel or plus in the other direction. Similar, you can also apply an LFO to the spread, which you have here, and it works exactly in the same way. So let's listen, first of all, to, um, to um, that guitar loop without the effect, and then let's apply the effect. <laughs> So now let's uh, um, inc increase the feedback there. Let's get some uh, um, mix. Let's um, remove for now the LFO and let's uh, listen a little bit and I will make some changes as uh, the guitar loop is played. So you should be able to hear the effect now. Let's um, increase, for example, to four notches there. And then let's also give um, some spread LFO. So you can see they're starting to move uh, closer and far apart. And let's increase the rate as well in terms of how they move. And let's listen again. <laughs> So really nice, really straightforward to use and really nice quality effects. Here you have a dice which allows you to randomize uh, the settings of the effect. Now let's choose uh, a preset. So one I really like is the uh, metal box. So let's listen. Without the effect. So 
so really nice to to see how you can quickly change uh, uh, the effect on the screen. Um, let's choose something else. For example, the screams from uh, the devs. Again, another one of my favorite ones. And let me show you how it sounds, for example, when we have something like a bass. So here we go, another loop from here. Without, with. So let's try it, for example, with uh, a um, bit, which uh, should be interesting. So let's choose something like drums, a bit, uh, this one, for example, and let's click play. Let's change the preset. And as you know, you can add the other effects from Bliss, which um, makes it more interesting as well. So let's choose, for example, a nice reverb, always from Bliss. And it's nice to actually change the order as well between the two. And let's try these uh, perhaps with uh, a voice um, effect. So let's see what um, uh, that would sound like. Okay, so... Let's try. And uh, actually, let's uh, choose uh, a preset to announce the voice, so the vibrant voice. As you can see, you are very quick LFO. You see the rate here, and also the rate here, on, sorry, the rate on the frequency and also the rate on the spread. So let's click play. So you can hear how different it is without the effect. So check the mix here on the right hand side, how I change it. So as you can see, a fantastic effect, really a quality effect from Bliss. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you the next time. Bye.